Hello, dear friends. Welcome back. It is time for more. Let's get into it. This is the wrong screen. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Is this what is what I need to have? How is your peasant food? Yes, yes, yes. Jamble. Jamble has told you all. I, I just made the comment, you know, I was like, oh, I can't, I don't feel like eating the wheat bix. It just turns into slop sometimes. I just made the comment. I, mean, I just made the comment in a mocking voice. Like, I don't want to eat wheat bix because, you know, I oh, did enjoy your wheat bricks that turn into slop gruel. And, you know, she just took that and she deployed it on me into the Discord. Wheat brick. But I'm actually finishing my wheat bricks right now. I'm uh, also been chatting to Emperor Anidakus in the chat as the music started up about interceptors. Anidakus, as someone who's experienced further into Squadrons Unleashed, because I was talking to you about how to dodge and stuff. Now the lasers go in the cannon slot. What I'm curious about is at what point does like what what advanced weapons don't go in the cannon slot for aircraft? Like, are you always using missiles along with cannons now in in Long War, or like? Does plasma or something go like? Because super cap lasers and no doubt Gauss, the uh, the Phoenix cannon, no doubt are cannons too. So what do you even research for air game that's even uh, is even long range? Imagine long range would be missile slots like plasma. Yeah, like uh, I think plasma apparently. Yeah, EMP plasma and fusion go missile slot. Okay, so super caps. Everything before Firestorms, basically, goes into the cannon slot. Which is another interesting change about this game, then, with Squadrons Unleashed, because it means that you have to go in at the closer range where you're more likely to be hit, um, to utilize those cannon weapons. Which is interesting. So we we would, uh, well, it's a good reason to get EMP plasma and fusion, though, then, because you can pair them with other weapons as well. That's crazy. So you could have plasma and lasers at the same time. That's wild shit. Because we were just discussing this, we were discussing with Emperor Anidarkus, I was, with um, the Royal We, I guess. I was discussing with Emperor Anidarkus about when, when is it time to start making the aces actually, like, tank on purpose. Um, with their dodge. And right now I've only got, like, plus four dodge, so I don't think it's, like, they're much different than any other pilot yet. Um... But if we, if we look at the pilots... Ace... Or you, it's when you get your buff, right? Like, when, when are you going to get your buff? When do you level up? I want to see your career path. I didn't just fuck something, did I? I don't want to do this. I just want to look. Special trait Maverick. Oh, no. I see. I see. So, it's... Lieutenant is that. And then it's... Oh, Captain. So you've just got to get the Captain. Captain gives you Ninja, which is 20% of dodge chance. What does that actually mean, though? What does plus 20% of dodge chance mean? Like, does it mean, like, every shot there's a 20% chance you'll dodge it? Or is it, like, a stack on your defense? What does that actually mean? Do you just get, like, plus 20% defense? What is dodge compared to defense? We assume it's the same thing. Twenty percent chance of dog. That's trigger. It means a twenty percent boost to their defense multiplied in defensive mode. Multiplied in defensive mode. So how multiplied is it in defensive mode? A twenty percent boost to their defense. So if their defense is only eight, well that's not much then, right? Because that's only eight defense. Twenty percent of eight being um, two, so ten. So how? Where does this become really impactful? So this is Ninja, did you mean the other one? Maverick, that gives you plus 20 defense. It's a percent chance for a shot that hits to miss them instead. Okay, so it's just a flat 20%. 20% chance for a shot that would hit them to miss instead, okay. You get more death. Rank squadron buffs, what does that mean? They can take more people in with them even though they're not a leader? And then you need a Firestorm at the highest level, at the commander level of the aces. But they get plus 20 defense, as well as already have plus 20 defense, I guess. And they get 10% more dodge chance. So that's a lot of defense at that point. 
Banya says if that's the case, it's lower than flat 20%. Yeah, it doesn't really seem... It seems like not as impactful as you'd think. As Bounty points out. Having been around the block enough times with tactics modifiers. Would you say this mod makes the game easier or harder? Easier. Much easier. Um, but if you, you, you can balance it yourself to make it harder. I was explaining this in the chat because people ask this a bunch. And just to be clear, um, this mod is not like a balance rework. This mod is not like... You don't like plug it in and it's like, okay, here's our new take on air game balance. This mod is purely a feature and framework introduction. Everything All it does is introduce features and framework by default. All it does is let you take up more jets and like gives the pilot skills like this. There is other shit, like it, it um... I think it makes the UFOs also have like limited ammo as well and shit because it's like an ammo framework now. But like, understand, this mod was not made by someone who was like, I'm gonna rebalance the air game. This mod is made for, we're gonna change how the air game works. If you wanna balance it yourself, What's good about this mod is that the config, I and I configs are all exposed and you can set numbers to whatever you want, like how I've doubled the HP of UFOs by just changing one number. Um, but that's what you need to just understand about, if you go and plug and play this mod in, it does nothing to balance out the fact that you now have like double the, or like, uh, you know, five times the interceptors and double the weapons and pilots are like stronger now. It does nothing, I just want to make that like super clear, it does nothing to balance that. It is just a straight up flat improvement to your abilities. There's no, like, hidden thing you don't know about that makes it harder in return, okay? Like, there's no, like, hidden feature of, like, and then this counteracts that. It literally is just what you hear is what you get, which is, it just gives you more options for the air game, which makes it way easier. Just to make that clear, because I feel like this comes up a lot. It's not like SZ Mind did not balance this mod. It's just better. You can balance it yourself in the configs, which I did. You find it more fun than the vanilla game? Absolutely. It's much more fun than the vanilla air game. Can there be multiple UFOs in a flight? No. No, there could not be multiple UFOs in a fight. That's what I mean. There's no, like, hidden feature you haven't heard about with this mod that balances out the other way. You know what I mean? Everything by the numbers. There, there's, there's nothing else. There's no, like, multiple UFOs against you. There's nothing else. It's just what you've seen is what you get with this mod. That's it. There's nothing else. That's why, if you don't want it to just be straight up flat easier, then you do need to balance it yourself in the configs, as I have done. How much defense do you get from going defensive? It's like plus 20, I think. But then how much easier are you to hit in the front line? I just don't know what a point it's worth doing it with aces. I, I feel like still not yet. So they get the laser cannons. So like, I mean, here's the thing. If you put the laser cannons exclusively on the aces, as I think I have done, because we're not using them on anyone else, because no one else is going close, because we're staying at long range, because the laser weapons are stronger, uh, the missiles are stronger at long range anyway, they're more accurate. If we send in an ace on defensive, and an ace on defensive in the front line is as tank, or is as defended or, or more than an aggressive interceptor in the back line, then it's probably just better, because you're going to get the laser cannons in, right? So I probably just should be doing it anyway. I probably just should be doing it anyway, just to be making use of the fucking laser cannons, which I've not been doing. So we're going to do a new thing here. We're going to go to... We're going to start doing the personalities of the tactics here, okay? Um, we're going to go to defensive, and we're going to set this to automatically start combat close. We need to remember this. Um, and we're going to like set like when you want to auto-abort, I guess. So when you want to auto-abort... I think when a, a ship is, like, at 25% or less, if it's not a firestorm, they should be getting the fuck out of there. I think when the ship is down to, like... Do I want them to auto back off, or do I want them to just hold steady in close? Probably when the ship is down to, like, 33, auto back off. Like, maybe even a little higher. I don't know if you want them to auto-abort. I think you want to manage that yourself. 32 is hell aggressive. No, yeah, it is, but I don't know if I even want them to auto. Like... Seeing as the UFOs can only hit one target at once, I guess once you get targets that shoot quicker... Like, twin link plasma and shit. But, like, if you can keep them from taking aggro, like, if you back them off and then they're not getting hit at all, you might want them to stay, you know what I mean? How do you configure aggressive then? Well, it's different. Like, I'm, don't think of defensive like, I want this unit to turtle. Think of it now as this is my frontliner. 
Emperor says, keep in mind as well that the way the UFO aggro works is that frontline takes complete priority and trumps even backliners that have higher aggro. So you want gunners to hang back on aggressive while the aces hold aggro. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, now that's that's an even bigger reason to go defensive on the frontline of an ace now, I guess. Because, yeah, then that allows your gunners to go aggressive without downsides. Exactly. Because you're, you're face tanking, you're MMO tanking. So I always want to set, like, auto-abort to, like, not. Well, I don't know. We'll see how this goes, anyway. Probably leave the others on what they are. What's the name again? It's uh, Squadrons Unleashed. Yeah, this is Squadrons Unleashed. So we're going to start sending in our aces with laser cannons in at defensive close range. So by assigning them to defensive, any ship assigned to defensive is going to go in at close range. We're going to keep that in mind. We're going to try to keep that in mind anyway. And we're going to see if that helps us out here. What else are we doing? We're researching Gauss. The new engineers arrived this morning. We have a terror mission, right? Yeah, terror attack in Philadelphia. We're saving the cops, that's right. Okay, so Pig General, the hit and run scout, or do we want a concealment scout? We don't have that option. You're gonna get what you get. Oh no, I can hmm. For a terror mission specifically, I think a hit and run scout is probably better. Sergeant, what have you got that the others don't? Bring him on. Yeah, that sounds good. Bring, bring, bring him on. Bring that. Vavi also level up some of the others. Hello, Beagle. How are Mex coming along? Uh, hey, Kevin. How you doing, Kevin? Uh, they're still a little bit off. Uh, won't be today, I don't think, because we're doing Gauss instead right now. Thanks for your terrific question. Captain Medic, QJ, and I need our engineer, JJJ. Maybe not this engineer though. I don't want to repair on this mission, so maybe bring um level up Brit instead. I like your shirt to the Beagle. Thank you. We have got Psy on the way, we've got Gauss on the way. We have Thangs on the way. Empress says, one last thing before I quiet down and let you work. Keep in mind that the defensive aces will have low aggro values. So if anyone else moves up to the front to use cannons who isn't on defensive, they'll get shot instead of the aces. So you may have to pay attention and have gunners run out of missiles, pull out of the fight. That makes sense, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. How you doing, Beaks? I'm doing alright, thank you. I'm doing alright today. We're gonna see exactly how I'm doing with how this first mission goes, but so far I'm doing alright. For a terror, let's bring some AP grenades for lids. How's Salsa? Salsa's doing good. Salsa's doing good. Spending a lot of time inside because it's really hot here in Australia. Every summer it's hotter. For some unknown reason, no one in humanity knows about. It's always getting hotter. Get that laser pistol on that infantry. Did you play Dawn of War 2 yesterday? I did, it was a lot of fun. I'm tempted to do it again today because it's so much fun. It's like XCOM and then Dawn of War, I'm enjoying it a lot. Have you heard about the storm sitting in San Fran and saying, no I haven't. Unless it's on Twitter, I don't really keep abreast of any kind of news or, um, especially foreign news. Really, it has to be on Twitter for me to notice it. Dr. Ryu says, when I saw you swap games, you got really scared, you wiped- No, no, just enjoying myself. On the mission site, setting down. Probably gonna do XCOM like every day of the weekend. Oh, Get maybe I'll do another deploy. doctor there, don't know. is within the continental United States. Kind of waiting until there's some more doctor updates. We just received word that local authorities within a major metropolitan area are engaged with an alien force. 
We'll need to eliminate the threat before it gets out of hand. On Operation Severed Smoke. Let me finish my wheat bricks. Central, strike one is locked and loaded. Awaiting drop orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. Is that not yes? Yeah, talking about it yesterday piqued my interest. Yeah, maybe I'll play it again today and you'll get to see how awesome it is. Love that game. I'm trying to get good at it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm so out of practice with Dawn of War. I'm trying to like get good again. I used to be good. I used to be like in the, when when the game had like a matchmaking kill, I used to be hitting that all the time. 1v1s, 2v2s? Was it your first time playing Dota yesterday? No! No, no, I have hundreds of hours of it back in the day. Like, I'm level 50 uh, in the multiplayer. I used to play it a lot. I used to do good! But I'm struggling lately. I'm, I'm losing most of my games. It's tough. Lunarista says, Fear not, there's always a bummer tier thing happening in the global news. It is! And there always will be from this point on, I think, in the future, but... Guys, it's 2023. We're gonna have the best 2023 ever. Okay? We're gonna make it the best 2023 because we're gonna focus on the things we love. Like saving Philadelphia cops? Uh. These people look like. Okay, that could be a detective or a superintendent. That's clearly just like. Some. Okay, I mean, I, I guess they could all be like detectives. With that jacket? Yeah, she could she could work in IT, you don't know. We need to save these people. <laughs> Game Grew says watch your inherent biases. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't because of that, I was just looking at her fucking I'm just like raiding them on their jackets. She's actually got like a Shen look going on. This guy. Again, I I think I've just never looked at their clothes much before because I swear I've never seen this like pink jacket guy before either. Hmm. All right. Contact in the front. It is a terror mission, so getting on the contact quickly is not a bad idea. Yeah, always something new, Bounty. Always something new. If I go to here, I think I reveal, maybe? Let's see. That's one, two on the motion tracker up here. Three, four. Okay, so actually maybe not. If we move into here, we can probably save these sieves because the other ones look to be... I look, The aliens look to be on the other side of the map here. So actually, you can probably move in here and not activate other shit. Rolling. Yes. I am correct. Interesting layout of the map here. All of the enemies appear to be on the outside. This is fantastic. If I could pick where all the enemies go on this map, yes, all in the fucking road would be incredible. Um, I'm guessing there's probably going to be at least one pot on my right here, and that's not as good, obviously. We don't want that. But as for the rest, so far, good layout. Hell, if I was feeling a bit ballsy, I could even go up here, but I don't think I'm that quite that ballsy just yet. I think I'll start working on that, but I don't want to do it just yet. Hmm. Still pretty good as, as this room is anti-L shape for this star. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You could just fight this way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is should I get some people in position with that in mind. Yeah, the inner wall here and the wall here means we're not gonna get flanked at least unless shit gets blown open. How do I want to engage here, though? Probably getting people on these walls and then grenading this shit open, which probably makes you into, like, a second tier activation. So, gunners here, once that wall gets blown open, it'll be good. So we probably put the gunners here. We're trying to, like, think a few turns in advance here. Of course, if there is another pod on the right, which you can't see right now, this is bad. Of course, of course. Going upstairs is kind of, like, a cool idea to... Hmm, reveal more... No, it isn't. Never mind. But maybe just, like, going further this way can reveal more what's on my right. I guess I can reveal that next turn. Doesn't really matter. Put these two gaddies here. Running. I want to find a good spot for the sniper, but it's tough. I'm just going to go here for now. now. 
I am really worried about what could be on my flank. That is going to be, like, a potential issue. Come here and grab that sieve. Oh, wow. Are they all out there? This could be, like, a really nice layout. There's going to be a fifth pod, no doubt. So there still could be one on my right. But it feels like in the motion tracker, there's nothing on my left. They could move, of course. We have one pod that's, like, here. One that's about here. One that's about there. And one that's about here. They all look about the same formation, too. What do we got? Three or four. What is this? A zombie move. It looks like only three per pod. That's weird. Why would a terror mission consistently only have three units per pod? Unless those enemies are very strong. It's not even a zombie mission because zombies are five. Is it exile? That's weird. All those pods look like three pods. That's really fucking weird, I think. It's weird to me. Good copy. Moving on target. What could they be? Is it just like a low roll mission? Like, is it just like an easy mission? Like, it's whoops all floaters? Like, what's going on? Already or it could there. be all discs. Yeah, it could be all mechtoids. Could be berserkers. Could be any number of things. Yes, we'll sir. see. Very curious to move forward and motion track on my right. Lids. Don't run. Do not run! We are your friends! What the hell was that? That was heart attack, I guess. Civ heart attack over on the right side of the map, I think. Okay, they're coming for me. That's perfect. That's what we want. This heart attack. Motion drag again, because I want to see what they're moving to. Okay. Get ready for that noise to repeat, apparently. Thin min. Something, 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 something. Maybe it is all of the map. Okay. So let's handle this. So if this is all of the map, then what we want to do is wipe all this this turn about activating anything else. You got like a bunch of crunch enemies there, I think. Uh, and then get ready to like just blow this wall open and fight everything else, I guess. But we've also got, yeah, there, 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 there. So blowing this wall open eventually is likely. Open the door for now. Which might activate more now. It shouldn't though. No, it won't. Good. You don't think it's a good spot? Who doesn't think it's a good spot? What do you mean? Why isn't it a good spot? What isn't a good spot? What are you talking about? Let's put a hollow shred onto the big one. The big lid's still here. One here. Hmm. I want to shoot you. But uh, I don't want to move to here, because I could activate. I guess with no ranged enemies active, I could move to here. But I feel like, what if one activated there accidentally? I didn't even notice. That's probably not what happened, though. There you go. I can go to here. I have hit and run, too, I just remembered. I'm on it, Commander. Which is cool. Okay, so... We're going to save as many shots as we can here for Overwatch instead. So what we want to do then is finish off with infantry. Because you could just kill these units of anything, but what we want to do is we want to save for Overwatches for everything else that's about to come in. So the infantry shoots one there. The infantry shoots one here. And why do we do this? Because now, because they can shoot twice, and uh, they're the only units here that can like shoot once and then Overwatch, which prioritizes Overwatch for next turn, which is what we want to do. So with that in mind, I'm also going to have... What am I going to have? I'm going to have Pig General finish off this lid. That's all three of them dead. And then I'm going to have Overwatchers for the next turn. Lots of Overwatchers. 
and hopefully one more pod walks around the corner and gets blasted. That's the ideal. I might not be getting it though. I might not be getting the ideal. What the hell was that? Scissor's dying, okay. Well, that means we need to move forward again. So, motion track again. One last motion track for the road. And we're gonna blow this up, and that's probably gonna activate a lot of shit at once. Should I do that? I'm just like activating a bunch of shit at once if I do that. I probably shouldn't. I should probably count it out more. Like, one, two, well, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, how do I play this? It'll activate a lot of the map, yeah. It'll activate a lot of the map. The, hmm. Maybe I can, like, pick how I do this better. Maybe I can, like, just blow this part up. Bring you around to here, and then we have distance here, and different angle here, so that hopefully you're not activating everything at once. Hopefully just two pods instead of one. Whatever this is, that activates. And hopefully instead of activating like, well, maybe. And hopefully instead of activating the back, we'll just activate like this one as well. Bounty says, or rescue upstairs and let them come. Decide whether to block lost space on alien types activated. That's also true. It's also a good idea, yeah. It just, like, takes a bit longer. But, yeah. One is definitely more cavalier. Battle scanner would be handy here, yeah, because if it's just, like, seekers and floaters and shit, who cares? We know that one of them is a thin man. But if it's, like, berserkers and smectoids, it gets awkward. Also, if I activate them, I gotta break loss because they'll kill civs. Hmm. They're sitting still, and everyone's kind of like sitting still at this point. I think that's a pot of four split as well, I'm realizing now. Hmm. Hmm. Everything I can do is I can run over to the right and try to scout my right and take both these doors. Come over here. Heading there now. Okay. I think what we do then is I think we take this door. Though that might activate this turn as an issue. Can the infantry like get over there? Yes, the infantry can move over there and then like next turn up here. The infantry can both run over here and then next turn they can take the door. And then we have infantry, infantry, gunner, gunner. HE close to Chuck. Is that the way to go here? Maybe. I think maybe that's the way to go. It doesn't like have me all busted up in the same area. Alright, let's do that. Stepping off. Or send one gunner to the right instead of both of the same door. Yeah, the reason I don't want to do that, though, I would rather have the gunners here, yeah. The reason I don't want to do that is because the gunners can't move and shoot, and this door has a window in it. So if I move to this, this like, I'm going to activate and not be able to do anything, you know what I mean? That's what I'm scared of there. That's why I'm sending the infantry instead. Because the infantry can move up and shoot, at least. We'll bring you back to here. Overwatch. 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 Mars Tactics is hungry. I gotta play that demo. I never played that on the stream, have I? They're gonna play the Mars Tactics demo on, on the stream. Here we go. Sneakers. There's like a Steam demo for Mars Tactics right now. I should play it. There's the Thins. Oh, they're in a really awkward spot. Thank God they jumped down. Okay, oh, so everything's gonna activate anyway. One, two, three. So 
my infantry are out of position for this turn. That's kind of okay because some of them just ran away, so we can just focus on the thin men. Zombies are happening a lot. And I can't see where the thin men are running because we're in a kill cam. Okay, good. They were running there. So we're gonna HE them and just kill them all. Just HE those goddamn... And we have more lids out there. So we kind of know every pod then, right? Seekers. Seekers, lids, mutons. We kind of like know every pod here. I think it's lids on the left there. So I gotta be careful when I blow up here because it could be bad. Put like a nady there. And that hopefully won't reveal the lids. Frag out. That's gonna reveal the lids. Oh no, lucky. Wow. They must be just behind there, lucky. If I come to here, will it reveal the lids? I'm not sure. Maybe not by like just positioning is like it's gonna be a bit far off, I think. I'm gonna move and see. Like right location. at the start of the turn. No liddies. Heading to that location. No liddies. Bussin! Alright. So now we're just gonna kill all the mins while watching out for the mutons out there. The muton, I mean. We should be back on double tap again. We go bang. I'll get him next time. Okay. Um. That's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal. I think the sniper here for the 79 is an ideal shot. Like, what are the imagery thinking? 74. Yeah, sniper on the 79. Let's do that. And this, if you kill, this wraps up nicely because... Yep. Because then we can just go infantry, infantry 197. So we'll bring him on. I should have done it before I killed the other one, but I, I wanted to know who was going to die first. So we go like this, 86% critical, bring him on, infantry. Gunnery Sergeant. Deaded. Dead and gone. Deaded. Should have used the pistol. That pod's wiped. I want smoke over here in case they get targeted by the Muton first, I think. I think I want the scout to come back because the lives are most likely to come around here. I want the scout to be ready here, I think. Um, yeah, I do I do want to have smoke for my infantry over there, I think. So I'm, again, I'm kind of like scared of activating shit accidentally here, so maybe I won't bother. A little scared for those infantry, though. I'm like a little scared for them. But I feel like if I run this way, I might activate those liddies, and that would be catastrophic at this point. So, maybe just let him hang out. I think you just gotta let him hang out. Maybe, like, move back to okay. here. Just get further away from the potential mutons. Uh, I'm gonna reload you. Reloaded. Overwatch. And you just gotta overwatch. Because if those lids come in... They could do bad things to our soldiers. Now, I was hoping for this. This is good. I didn't say it, but I was thinking, like... And it's not really a good reason to base the decision I did, because it's, it's pure, like... It's kind of luck. But my brain was, like, trying to soften the blow of, like, leaving my infantry there about smoke against the muton, and I was like, well, you know what? There's acid there, so maybe the muton will walk into the acid. It's fine. I looked at the other right, right side of the map, and I was like, yeah, but they'll just go to that cover, which doesn't have acid. But I guess I'm wrong. The Muton's like, actually acid rules. These are like the little, like, things I tell myself to, like, soften the blow of, like, I'm about to do something that isn't really optimal, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway, and you can't stop me. Like, I've just decided at this point, like, fuck it, that's just what I'm gonna do, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Where are those lids at this point? Looks like they're not actually there. So it's funny it actually worked out, even though like it was kind of like a weak excuse. It's like a self-excuse, you know? You're rationalizing to yourself. Oh, it's not as dumb as it could be because this, you know? But but really, it, it, it is, it's not wise is what I was... That's affirmative. Oh, that's not the scout. Shit, I thought that was the scout. It's engineer. Um, 
That's fine. Oh my god, that acid is actually turning out amazing here. Wow, we. It's turning out incredibly well. My god! God! The Seekers that are so much weaker than they used to be. Masculinity of the Seekers being destroyed! That be your first mission? Yeah, what up? What up? First mission, yeah, yeah. Let's shoot you. No. Shoot you. Nice. Weapons empty, can't eliminated. Shoot. I wanna reload you. We're gonna bring the medic back up. And we're killing pretty much as quick as we can here. I feel bad because there's still like floaters out there killing yeah. civs, but I feel like I'm going as quick as I can, like, really. Head into that location. 60, let's go to the pistol. 72, you're acided, so there won't be DR problems. He's down. Got no, ammo. no sweat. You come Heading back. There's two floaters and a lid pod. Rock and roll. Ready to engage. Here come the lids. Two lids and a zombie. Hello there. It's just ideal positioning on the lids again. Thank you very much. Da 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 da. Let's go. Yeah, they moved to where like every shooter can hit, even though I'm not going to use the inventory for it, but I could have if I wanted. It's dead. Where was the zombie? That's what I should have done. I should have sent the scout to hit the zombie twice. I think if I go to here, I can see the zombie, right? Nope. Where is that fucking zombie? Oh, they must have run off to kill the sieve. No, we can fix that. Hang on, we can fix that. Headed there now. That sieve doesn't have to be doomed. We can do something about it. Because there shouldn't be any more pods at this point. Grenade out. Shouldn't. Let that shit wide open. Spot the zombie. Who's going for the sieves out there? Remember, as we take this mission in the police station, folks, XCOM is cool and based in all iterations because they consistently destroy property to save people. Remember, that's why XCOM is cool and based and it's okay to stand them. Now. Good to go. Come here. Like firefighters with guns. That's why they're cool. That's right, even Alier, Hyper Squad, XCOM, Chimera Squad. Even Chimera Squad does extensive property damage to save lives. <laughs> Thunderpants has lost four years of casework and their evidence locker just blew up. That's right! <laughs> Finish off here if we can. Maybe. Mm, 81. It's better to do a command, I think. Well, I remember during the height of the ACAB movement when everyone stopped for a moment to praise French fire, I've had his good times. That's right. There, there isn't a song called Fuck the Fire Department. That's right. They'll never catch the Zodiac Killer now. Oh my god. I think I have to... Oh, I can actually shoot from there, apparently. Interesting. Heading there now. Nice, that's two shots. Okay, kill that zombie if you can. There's a fucked up shot. Oh, wow! Oh shit! 
Okay, it was really impressive, like, through the, the model there, but then you also just blew it up. But still, wow! Impressive shot! I gotta admit, it's not your fault those cardboard boxes caught on fire afterwards, that is not your fault. Right, it's just the two floaters now, we gotta push on. Smoke out! Covered. Move up and reload. Let's do this. I'm gonna move your. I should have done this Position first. My bad. Run. Yeah, I should have done this first. It's okay. The gunner couldn't have seen them anyway. It's okay. Moving to position. Seventy-seven. Oh no! Adjusting sights. One down. There's one floater left. Got him. No! Get that last one. I'm on it, Commander. Get that last one, fucker. Get a shot from there. Moving up. Tracking. I got you. Go. Where is that scout? You're the scout. Holo target that floater. Through the sill, oh god. Need a resupply. Miss the target. Hey guys, it's okay to stay in XCOM. They save civilian lives. <laughs> Pig general, yeehaw! As he shoots through a fucking sill. <laughs> I don't think I even got holo from that. Oh, you don't have holo. You're a different kind of scout. That's right. What do you have instead of holo? You have lone wolf. You're crazy, is what you are. No Help. Way. Failure. Failure in progress. Oh shit. Failure in progress. Uh, missed. Warning. You are failing to do your job. Look out. Look out. Heading to that location. Oh shit, look out, look out. There's a shot. I'm on the move. Damn it. Mr. Target. Fifty nine percent is not even good. It's not even a good chance to hit. Moving to position. Next mission? No, I'm gonna use the command for sure. Save the command for next mission, yeah. No, I'm thinking about the command, yeah. I guess the sniper is our best bet, yeah. Maybe actually Brit would be. I think Brit would have a higher chance of killing. That's a if Brit moves up, right? No, 51, okay. Sniper! Another fantastic shot through that civilian. Good. Bye bye. Chalk up another one. <sighs> well, it was an easy, an easy terror. We could have saved more civs, but we we did pretty decent there. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. But the troops did well. Very very favorable map layout there. All the enemies in a line, out in the easiest to fight part of the map. No L shape. Very good. AP nade though, true, I could have I could have moved the energy up and AP naded with command, that's true. I probably should have. Nice easy terror to start with, huh? Apparently. Good stuff. Why do they specifically put the repair bay in a spot where it cannot give adjacency until well, I don't know, I'm because I'm silly, that's why. Because as you grow older, the the wrinkles in your brain smooth out, that's how. That's why. We're really good at covert operation. Come in. Okay, cool. Ooh, money. Yes, please. Huh? 
I think next month we want to get back onto our satellite bullshit. I think we want to hit up that uh, that nexus. Once that fission generator is done, hit up that nexus. And then you got to delete this uplink for later, right? I mean, you don't have to do it immediately, right? Like you can go nexus, do more satellites, build here, nexus, and then when this nexus is empty, delete the uplink, you know what I mean? And then change this into a nexus. Until you've built all your other things, we don't need to get rid of this one. It's just like Satellite getting that extra plus one. If we build the Nexus next Additional month and go straight for more required. sats, it would allow us to do some important work here, probably saving some countries. Hit up that Nexus, Ussi. For sure. And what's going on? <laughs> I hate myself for thinking of that. I hate myself even more for saying it. Really starting to weird me out. <laughs> You can't be worse than Beagle playing Midnight Suns with the Captain Marvel pictures, don't worry. Bandir instead says Nexus is right there, that's right. Don't say let's give passive panic reduction, I believe they do. Yeah, for sure. And if you ever feel like you're weird, just think about how much weirder and like strange Beagle Rush was. That's right. You should file that request directly with Dr. Valen, although I'm not sure she'll be very open to the idea. Nexusy. Nigeria, South Africa, and Egypt. Was? Yeah, that was last year, Shikulti. It's 2023. I'm very different now. Nigeria, South Africa, and Egypt. It would be really good to get a Nexus up. Two sats, plus one. We could take all of Africa. It is unfortunate that you don't have this before. We did like the workshop and lab building. That would have been nice for saving money. But it still is going to come down on maintenance. Less fatigue from gene mods. We're about to start doing gene mods. I'm not here for Reduction in side training time as well. You forgotten. We have a war on our hands. This is like a really important like power base to get, I think, for this mid-game. Because China and Japan is rough. It is. So... Jeff says, how many Nexus with adjacency does it take to cover the planet if you completely replace the regular uplinks? Um, well, it's three per Nexus of adjacency, right? So three... That's two Nexuses. Two more. And then... You'd still need all of them? You'd still need s six Nexuses? Or do you get double adjacency in some cases? No. You'll have to check their status. I want our birds kept fully fueled at all times. Three plus three does seem to be optimal still. Why is that? Three times four is twelve. How many countries are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen countries. It's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you could do four... Wait a minute, what? But then that's f am I, I'm counting this wrong. Because that's four nexuses and two uplinks would equal 16. So how do you get away with it with three and three? Hang on. We're currently tracking several unidentified targets. Wait, you Nothing don't. That requires our attention you know? just yet. How the fuck does that work? Am I counting this wrong? Two XCOM and. So it's been three and three. How is it three and three? If you have three Nexuses, the two times three gives you six from adjacency. But shouldn't it be three, three, three for nine, two, two, two for six, nine plus six, 15? How do you get 16 out of that? Uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. How do you get 16 out of that? Wait, don't you need four nexuses? One for free? Do you get one for free? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Seven, seven in orbit. Additional uplink required. Six gives you seven bonuses. You, well, you get like doubles? Hang on. Uplink here, uplink here, that's two. Two, so that's two, four, six. And then a nexus here is seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Right, you're getting double adjacencies, that's why. Nine, ten. And then you're going to go... Nexus, Nexus. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen? Wait, what? Because you got to count out the pluses. So by themselves, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just by themselves, and then count the pluses, I guess. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wait, so then do you only need two nexuses? Why do they say three and three? Now I don't understand it in the other direction. Because if it's nine... Then it goes... One adjacency... Two adjacency... Three adjacency... This isn't that complicated. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Seven! Okay, I, just, I think I just did it wrong. Anyway, this is why you don't question things. Just believe the old tech, believe the old lore, believe in the Omnissiah. They say three and three, just do three and three. Kids, never be creative, never think for yourself. Just do what influencers and reddits tell you to do. This is awful advice. Please, I'm joking. Please don't listen. The point of all this was... Nexus. Nexus. Here. One, one two... It's gonna be a corner one, too. Very brave of me to not put the uplink there. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get four sats from that, which would allow me to take all of Africa and save Brazil. Then I build another nexus that lets me put one in Argentina and delete the uplink to build into another nexus later. I think. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Because that'll be four more from here. And I'll gain one, two, three more from here. And this currently has two, so yeah. If I do that, it's the perfect Satellite jigsaw puzzle. Then I put the last one in, capacity. and it's two Additional plus one plus one, which required. lets me take Asia eventually. Yes. Okay. My R2-D2 chair is going, sorry. So that's the plan, is we're going to build a nexus, take Africa and put one satellite to save Brazil temporarily, ideally next month. Maybe the month after that we can't make enough money, but I think we should get back onto it next month. We shouldn't let off the gas on our satellite plan. Oh, that's more interceptors though, that's fucking... I can't afford to have an interceptor fleet in South America as well. That's the problem. How am I possibly gonna afford... Well, no, you can afford that, Beagle, because you get more money. It's like I'm stupid. It's like he doesn't fucking get that you take more continents and get more money, which you didn't put into more interceptors. It's like he's stupid. It's almost like he's stupid. It's crazy. It's it's like he's dumb. So yeah, we do that, and then we do another Nexus, and then we take Brazil while and Argentina while we delete the other one, and then we rebuild that into a Nexus and we take all of this. Okay. Things are definitely picking up out there. We'll have to monitor our available resources carefully. Okay, so that's all good. I understand that. Contact detected. Where is me interception music? Where's my interceptions at? That is not my interception musics. There we go. Defensive. Russia NOE. Oh, we don't want to... We want to let this land. It's NOE Scout. Call the music. Contact detected. This might be the trap mission instead of the one yesterday. So if you should, you can cancel the trap. Now let's go. Let's do it. No worries. I just need a concealment scout to make it easy. Concealment scout. Do you still want to intercept UFOs even if they're landing? No, I don't think so. Is this trash hill? This is this is the river one. 
You wonder if we'll get some heavy flow this is Maxi. This is surely far too early for that, I think. Far, far too early. I'm gonna take a good team because it could be a trap mission. Best way to do with a trap is to walk right now, but that's right. Why'd I pick dense smoke on you? I guess I had to. Oh no, I, I rebuilt you into a smoke engineer, I see. Cool, cool, cool. Come then, come. Come, 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 come. One hour for Chinatown speed bump. Yep, just wait. And, uh, Medico? Necesito Medico? Okay, bring Pixie. Okay, one hour for the sniper. Ooh, here we go. Contact detected. Defensive, close range laser cannons. Aggro everybody else. Need a higher ranking pilot to do that. Higher ranking leader, okay. Get him! Let's see how this goes. Destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Alright, now we have two missions. Contact. However, we know that the crash fight is going to be very easy. Is it weird that this mod actually makes me want to play Project Wingman in an Ace Combat again? I do. and I mean, I mean, the music helps, but I do. I really do. Maybe this medic's finally ready to be an officer. They're never ready to be an officer. God damn it. Get promoted! Imagine if the ground game worked the same as this air game mod. Like, the higher rank your soldier officer, the more soldiers you could bring. You gonna play the AC7 DLC, then hell yeah. Yeah, I've never played that. They said that one day he'd go back to Ace Combat 7 and play the DLC. He never did. Contact detected. Your Project Wingman playthrough is my favorite Jet movie. Thank you. The end was hard. The end was really hard. I'm gonna get some caps on this, maybe. Bring the HEs, bring a bit of dense smoke, bit of HE, bring a bit of everything, I guess. Bit of everything on you. Project Woman was great, Prez best girl. Prez is great. What if your mechanic could also be your co pilot and your friend? What a great thought. Everyone's good to go. All right. Good to go, good to go, good to go. Let's go on the mission. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. In Russia.